Um, you have Michigan State Senator uh, Paul Anke posting armed protesters as you, outside the Capitol. Quote, directly above me, men with rifles yelling at us. Some of my colleagues who own bulletproof vests wearing them. I've never appreciated our sergeant at arms more than today. Um, your view of this, Steve? This is, this is appalling. Somebody needs to explain to me what the difference between those guys and a bunch of brown-shirted stormtroopers in 1925 is. And I'm very serious about this. This isn't about the Second Amendment. This isn't about gun ownership. These are temples of democracy, these buildings, where we test the premise each generation whether we retain the capacity to govern ourselves. Free speech is important in this country. They're not protesters. When you show up in tactical gear carrying a tactical weapon, an AR-15, an M4, an AK-47, you're there to intimidate. You're assaulting the tenants of our system, which is a system that exists to preserve the rule of law. That's the oldest constitutional republic in the world. And we should not think for a second as we're at the dawn of a new moment in history, that because extremism didn't rise in the United States in a way that was able to take over the country in the past, that it's not still here and it still doesn't pose a threat. Nobody should be comforted by those images, whether you're a Trump supporter, whether you're a Biden supporter, whether you're not going to vote at all. We don't do that in this country. That is right. an appalling image, and it makes us look like a basket case as they're beamed out around the world to our allies and to our enemies. Yeah, it's a striking image. Uh, I will say there is, of course, a distinction anytime people are only speaking versus those who've taken up action or arms to do violence. Uh, but it is really striking, and I appreciate you raising it. I have literally 45 seconds. And Steve, for Steve Schmidt, that's not enough time. Uh, but I warn you, you only have 45 <laughs> seconds. The, the last thing is, the president has, has backed away from the briefings. He did them for weeks. Uh, the measurements came out. He never spent any time with honoring, remembering, consoling uh, the lost lives for the most part uh, when the Post counted up. Um, your view of that in the time we have left? Well, we see somebody we see somebody up there who, when you're confronted with death totals now that approach the total from the Vietnam War, but at the time were 40,000. And he's up talking about his ratings, right, about that he does great compared to The Bachelor, compared to this reality show. It's just appalling. He just fundamentally lacks the capacity at the three dimensions you need to see a president operate in. He, he, he lacks it mentally. He lacks it intellectually. And he lacks it morally. What we're talking about here, Ari, is moral leadership, but he just has an incapacity for it. Can't do it. Has no mm. chance of ever being able to do it because it's not how Donald Trump is wired. Yeah. And the American people are a lot worse off because of that.